Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. No Rent TV wrote in uh, and commented on my sequencing the MPC from the SP404 Mark II video and said, you never showed the MPC settings. You're probably right. I probably forgot to do that. So I'm just going to do another video because there's also been some updates since the firmware 4.04 came out for the SP404 Mark II, and we can just talk about a few different things and uh, sending notes from the SP404 Mark II to the Akai MPC. So let's start with, we're just playing whatever is on here and we're not sending anything over. And I'm looking over here, I'm not seeing, on. it might be a little hard to see on your screen here, but the MIDI IO isn't flashing and I'm not seeing any notes coming into the track. So, and it's, the track is armed right now. So you wanna make sure that you're armed because that's gonna allow it to, get the MIDI notes, but this is just a standard program. It's just the boom kit, bap kit. We're not, so I can play the notes over here, but again, nothing's coming out. So if we go into the settings, we'll start with the SP404 Mark II. I'm gonna go system, MIDI sync. Personally, I would set it to auto or set it uh, just so that you make sure that it's knowing whether or not it should do that. I would send MIDI sync out if you're going to be using the SP404 Mark II as a sequencer. Uh, sequence note out, you're going to probably want that on so that when you record your sequence notes, it will then be able to take those notes and send it out over MIDI. Um, go to pad note out. We'll set that to on as well. So that is going to be, now you can see we're sending notes over. And another important thing is MIDI mode A is the mode that I'm going to be setting to because that's the one that's uh, just kind of mapped the same as the MPC. MIDI mode B, you're gonna be able to do your note offset and make a few other adjustments, but um, I'd say A, if you just wanna do, it's gonna be easier if you're just actually sequencing an MPC, so, because everything's mapped over. Besides that, let's exit out here. I'm just showing you. It's sending it. You can see in this like little blue track, whoops. I made an extra program. Didn't mean to do that. You can see in this track over here, hopefully, you know, like a little blue line and the green green line. So the green's showing us the actual audio. The blue line is showing us the MIDI note signal that's getting sent over. Now, uh, and you might not be able to see here, but the eye is lit up. That's because we're now sending the BPM sync data over from the output here over to the MPC. That's important if you just want to make sure that you are if you run a delay or something on the MPC, it will not use the MPC uh, BPM, it will use the external BPM. Now, let's get into the settings here. Go preferences, and I'm just gonna go to MIDI sync here. Now, I happen to have the uh, a Mio XL, so it's showing this wall of uh, devices that are available. You don't have to have all those. You might just have MPC1 and MPC2. The important thing is if you just want to send track data over, you'll, so for me, the, uh, I think it's uh, Mio XL DIN2. It's just the second plug for the input. You're going to want to make sure you have track on, and that's going to basically take the MIDI and allow that to come in from the track. Um, the control and global are possibly a little bit less important, but global uh, will take in any global things. Like I believe it's going to take the BPM and some other things. And control, I think, is taking transport controls. It's been a while since I've looked into it. But anyway, you know, if you want to be able to fully control from the SP the SP404 Mark II over to the MPC, it doesn't hurt to have global control and track on. Uh, you can always just go through and figure out. Um, how you want things to be kind of laid out anyway and kind of work from, but I would say definitely want track on. And then for, you know, for output ports, this is just going to depend on whether or not you want to send sync data out or track data out. You can do that for sure. Um, you can create MIDI feedback loops if you're not setting everything up correctly, but effectively what you want to make sure is because this is a, um, drum program, it's not in inherently going to output anything. What you really need to worry about is if you have this uh, track set to MIDI type, because then you could send MIDI from the SP404 Mark II out to a MIDI track. And then if you have it pointed back at the same device, it could send the MIDI note back and you'll create a, 
a loop where you can kind of lock up some of the devices or freeze them up or crash them. Probably not what you want. Anyway, so given that, um, and you can see here in the MIDI monitor, I just touched the IO in the top there. It's just getting MIDI clock, which is perfectly fine. Again, like it's not hurting anything to do that. And I, th I thought there was one more thing I want to check. Oh, sync off. So if you want to make sure, like if you have like an external, if you want to use an external clock on the MPC, you're going to want to have sync be set to MIDI clock. Go back in. Um, so go to MIDI, just change the sync to MIDI clock from whether you're off MIDI clock, MTC or Ableton link, go MIDI clock. That way it will take the BPM of whatever you have running on your external device. So let's see what else. A um, few other notes for 4.04, .04, a nice change is um, before you would kind of have to have content on a pad to be able to actually get it recorded into a pattern. You don't need to do that anymore. And like, this is just old behavior, but I can switch to B. The MPC is not differentiating between MIDI channels. So even though we're sending MIDI channel two over to the MPC, it doesn't care what, it's just taking the notes and letting me play. And we can see here, there's nothing actually on these pads. The old behavior would be if we recorded a pattern, it would then uh, kind of just ignore or dump the information because be like, I'm not saving anything. Well, it doesn't do work that way anymore. Um, let's go 90 BPM. I'm going to say length of two, strength of 100 is fine. I'm going to hit record. I'm going to turn this up just so we have a metronome. And we can record something. So, whoops, we're doubling up. I did that wrong. Let's uh, exit out. Start over. Let me go delete this because I, I just did it with where we had the drums <laughs> for bank A. Let's go to bank B, go record the same settings. We don't have any drums here now, so we don't have that same problem, but I'll just show you like we can still record this. It'll work fine. So it's not lighting up here, which is, I don't know, it'd be nice if it like went a little low. I think I just double tap that, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah. So if we hit record to get into rehearsal, I mean, I can play it. It's just, it's too bad that this, these don't light up like a light orange or a different color or something. So you can see, but you can absolutely record things this way and it works perfectly fine. So given all this, I'm just going to exit because normally what would happen is if you exited and you had recorded where you were playing and there was no samples, you would not even get your pattern to record. So, but now we can play it. Except it's not, uh, why is it not playing anything? That was weird. I'm going to exit out. I just want to see, let's see if there's some weird behavior going on or something else. It's, uh, weird. I think I must have a setting set up wrong here. Let's go figure this out. We don't, it's sending the BPM from here to the SP404 Mark II, but we're not getting the BPM from the SP404 Mark II over to the MPC. So let's just debug this really quick and then hopefully we'll be good. Uh, okay. Go back to menu, sync, MIDI clock. I believe that's correct. Let's go to preferences. And I don't want to have it send a sync out. So we're going to turn sync off and track off. We're not going to send any of that. Let's see if that helps. There we go. Okay. So just a recap for what we did here. So what ended up happening, there was the issue. I just forgotten to do this. Go to preferences. If you go to MIDI outports, um, the, the Mio XL DIN 2 is my, uh, the outport. It was sending sync data 
So what was happening is we were getting SP404 Mark II sync data sent over to the MPC. And then, as I said, you get these MIDI loops. It was sending sync data back to the Roland SP404 Mark II, and it was kind of freezing it. So with that off, we can now have it start and play correctly. And if we don't want the... Whoop, somebody's honking their horn outside. Anyway, let's just do one quick... That's fine. We can stop the stuff there. Anyway, I'll uh, just do a quick recap of settings. So shift utility system. We've got MIDI sync auto. We could turn that to uh, internal is probably the correct one to have it set to just so it ignores uh, external uh, syncing. We've got MIDI sync out is to set to on. Sequence note out on. Pad note out on. And we've got MIDI mode A. And that'll work perfectly fine. And then over on the MPC, just as a quick recap over here, we've got sync set to MIDI clock. So it should be picking the MIDI clock up from the SP404 Mark II under preferences. Uh, again, uh, my mine is Mio DIN XL or Mio XL DIN 2. I've just got global control and track on for the import. And then for the exact same one on the outport, I turned sync and track off because I didn't want the MPC sending any data back to the SP404 Mark II. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.